Hi guys, um, just a little quick video. Um, yeah, I ordered this a long time ago. Um, this is by the way just a box. Full disclaimer, I actually already applied some of this stuff on there because it was just like a tedious thing. But this is my review, not unboxing, because I already did that yesterday because I was impatient. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of um, this little thing, it's a tricorder. From Star Trek Next Generation, it has lights and sounds on there. And I don't know from who it is, I think Running Plex, this is the, the Deluxe Mega Kit. You got the other one apparently, which I don't know what the difference is for. Uh, I paid, I think, for this, including shipping, I think 15 euros, which is, I don't know how many bucks. No, less, I think 13 euros. So it's not expensive, and for what you get, it's good. It's actually really good. Um, I'm just gonna run through the stuff that you see. You get this. This is the, the little toy tricorder. Uh, I applied the stickers already because it was well a lot of work to apply the stickers. But as you can tell, the size is, is similar. Like it, it's smaller. It's smaller than the original tricorder from the show. You know, again, it is not accurate to the size of you know what it is. It's just a little gizmo toy that makes a lot of noise. By the way, if I open this, I'm sorry for the noise thing. Um, so yeah, it looks cool. It has a nice weight to it. It's tiny, but it, I don't mind. I'm going to open it up because it's going to make a lot of noise. As you can tell, it makes a lot of fucking noise. <laughs> and there's lights and everything in here. You can tell. Well, I'm just going to wait until the sound turns off, you know. The lights really actually accentuate the buttons and everything, the details. Just give it a second. Really give it a second. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> now, as you can tell, this thing was completely blank except for the lights and these three lights. You know, the little detail lights. And the rest of all stickers you have to apply. Um, these are the stickers, well, after they have been applied. Um, the stickers were going on great, the little holes opened up really nicely, uh, the detailing, I don't know if you can tell, the detailing on the stickers, like the actual detail on this little mini pop toy is phenomenal, actually matches up with the show and just, no, well, the franchise, you know, in general. Um, you got these these lights light up, uh, alpha to the gamma sequence, like all the different frequencies, geometric and bias scans, like, I know I'm, I'm geeking out, but hey, it's me. Um, these things light up. Uh, I'm not gonna explain every button on a tricar, but the middle part actually lights up really nicely. Actually, I think a bit too bright because you can tell there's a nice detail in there. Uh, the lighting from outside is just not doing great, but the detailing on here is great. And it says uh, TR560 tricorder. I think it's a Mark 6, and I think an on TNG was a Mark like lower bit, but I don't know exactly which one it is. You got this nice detailing on here. It feels nice in the hand. Um, the stick is going well. It's not opposite that accurate because this thing was more light and everything. And like in the show, it was like lights going like this and a lot of blinking lights. Um, the speaker is on the back. It's really loud, so I'm not gonna close it up because it's so freaking loud. Um, here was a little plastic thingy that you have to pull out to get a battery power. Uh, it's got a it's got a nice weight to it, and as you can tell, I'm just gonna open it up just one time. The clicky noise that's from the like the show itself, like, and it stays open. Like if you do this, it closes on itself. So I'm sorry for the loud noise, but as you can tell, there's a lot of light stuff going on. Um, I'm gonna close it up because it is making a whole bunch of noise. So yeah, it's easy, it's nice in the hand, it's nice for Comic-Con actually, if you, you want to use this as a Comic-Con, I actually think like for cosplayers, it's brilliant, it's not as big as the original prop, but hey, it's Comic-Con, it's a busy Comic-Con, if you lose an expensive prop, which I think costs about $150, I think, or $100, depending on which side you go by, it's a lot of money if you get that broken or knocked out of your hand or, you know, just any crazy Comic-Con event, which plays 
let's have, have one Comic Con this year. I don't know how, I just miss it so much. Um, so yeah, I probably will use this on a Comic Con floor, this little gizmo. Um, the box is just a standard box saying the tricorder is a multiple functional handheld device used for scanning uh, data analysis, recording data. This kit includes a replica of the, of the iconic tricorder, check, which features light and sounds and 48 page mini book with full color photos. Which is this little bugger. This is the thing for the StopTrick.com, basically the official licensing thing. And we got this little tiny little booklet. I don't know, my hands are huge, so don't compare my hands to anybody else's hands. And uh, you got the photo of the tricorder on top. I'm just gonna quickly parse through it. You got this, which. Ooh. Okay. I do love this quote. It's from Jetsia Deck. Uh, it says, I love the 20s. Third century design, black finish, silver highlights. Fun to see a Dex from the episodes Trials and Tribulations. I think, I hope I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing it right because the same episode TOS has a similar name. I seem to do it together. But as you can tell, contents is a nice booklet. It's got a nice introduction on Star Trek itself, I think. Yeah, which is cool. You see the cast members from. I I think this is season three. Yeah, season three of TNG, The Next Generation. Uh, nice fucking, like, nice layout of the bridge of the Enterprise D. Which I think at the end is season three. The, judging by the seating and everything, yeah. The classical tricorder from the 60s, uh, which is amazing. Uh, communicator, which I think it's Kirk Sands, I don't know. It's a classical communicator from the 60s. It's kind of nice. Long text, I'm not gonna go through all the text, but it's nice detailed, you got Riker season 2 with the beard and the weird ugly uniforms, because I never liked those uniforms. The Enterprise D studio model light up shot. Um, it is cool, you got this close up of how the tricorn actually looks like as a prop on the show, and you can tell. Um, yeah, actually I think this is great. I like this, as, as a non-fan, non you can actually read up on what it, it says on the tricorder. Uh, it's got a, like alphabet. This all techno babble stuff I already know because I've been a fan since now. Well, ever. <laughs> no, literally, like it's, it's a long story, but I will do that in a different video. Um, again, I like the detail on this. Ooh, that, ooh that's creepy. Okay. Uh, they've drawn Mr. Crusher in a very awkwardly creepy pose, holding on to the tricorder, which is creepy because that's real Wheaton. I'm nothing against real Wheaton, but it's just that's just a creepy image which looks similar, but no, no. Um, like this little booklet. Um, yeah, I think it's cool. Sorry, I'm gonna do this. I'll put my hand a bit up here. I like how detailed it is on top here too. Like every bit of detail works for me and I like the actually the sound of the show the crackling sound of opening the tricorder uh, considering my hands are huge because my hands are actually larger than real it fits my hand pretty well as a standard tricorder it could have gone smaller but thank god it didn't um, but yeah I really like this thing I'm gonna close it up because the noise <laughs> No, but my final thoughts on this, I would say if you're a big Star Trek fan and you're looking for something cute, something funny, or like some present, you know, a Christmas present or a birthday present, a quick one, go for something like this. I think they have like this, a communicator, a small enterprise from the classical show, a shuttle, like small little things like this. They have like multiple versions of like these pocket sizes, little thingies, and I think they're all the, somewhat the same price as this thing is. Which probably maybe I will collect if I see one of them and like, oh that's cute. I probably will have them, but I don't know. So yeah, for 15, no, 13 years, I would definitely say go buy them. It's well worth the price. It's cute, it's funny, and it's actually a cute toy. But for the price and what you get from this, yeah, it's it's well worth it. And it's cute, it's funny, and just have some fun with it, you know? Um, so... This was my little review on this little tricorder thing. If you like this kind of video, I will post another one on Sunday or Monday, depending on my time, you know. I'm a very busy man. Well, people on Facebook will see on Sunday what's happening, but... Um, 
I'm a very busy man, I'm just trying to like see what's going on in my life, personal life, stuff like that, so I'm trying to get two videos out a month. I'm trying my best here, people, as much as possibly can. So, hit that like and subscribe button down there, leave a nice comment, because I do love the comments. Very lately, I've got a lot of comments, which I don't mind, I love to, you know, and like, that's good. Leave a nice comment, leave a nice positive vibe down there, and we we'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out, and uh, live long and prosper, and stay awesome.